Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we are going to study exponents. And exponents are a simple concept because all it is is a shorthand for repeated multiplication. If you have the same number multiplied many, many, many times, there's a shorter way to write it. And here it is. We have 2 as our base number. 4 is the exponent. The exponent tells us how many times 2 got multiplied by itself. We read this 2 to the 4th power, or sometimes just as 2 to the 4th. Okay? To solve it, all you do is you just do this multiplication. Here's 4, and here's 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. Here's 9 to the 5th power, or we can say 9 to the 5th. It means 9 multiplied by itself five times. This time I'm not going to take time to do the multiplication. You could use a calculator or take your time to multiply, but we'll go on. This is 10 to the third power. It has another name too, because it just so happens that when you multiply 10 times 10 times 10, it is also the volume of a cube where the side is 10. You see? To find the volume of a cube, you multiply this times this times this. So it's 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1000 cubic units. But that is why this expression is also called 10 cubed. More often than it is called 10 to the third power. We can calculate it, it is 1000. Here, 12 to the second power is 12 times 12. That's 144. But it also reminds us of a certain other calculation that often comes up in geometry. And uh, this is a square. If you want to find the area of a square, you have to multiply 12 times 12. So therefore, this here has also another name. Want to guess what it is? It is also called 12 squared. People don't often call it 12 to the second power. They usually call it 12 squared because of that. This whole expression here is called a power, okay? It's a certain power of 5. And of course there's other powers of 5 too. 5 to the 3rd power, 5 to the 5th power, all of those would be powers of 5. Here, 3 cubed means 3 times 3 times 3. That's 9 times 3, so it is 27. Here, 5 to the 4th power, let me write it out. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. How much would that be? Well, I know 5 times 5 is 25. That times 5, 5 times 25 is 125. And then that times 5, I would get 125 times 5. I get 500 and then 125. So it's 625. 100 squared is 100 times 100. So that is easy. You write 1 and then those zeros, like that, 10,000. 70 to the first power is just 70. You don't really get to multiply anything, you just have the plain number 70, okay? Here's 20 times 20 times 20. Let's write it using an exponent, first of all. It's 20 to the third power or 20 cubed. Now if I solve it, it is 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. And then 0, 0, 0. I tag those zeros there. 8,000. Here is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Takes a long time to say even, but it is just 2 to the 5th power, right? And to solve it, I have here 4 times 2 is 8, and then 16, 32. These are kind of special powers of 0. It means 0 to the 2nd power, 0 to the 5th power, 0 to the 11th power, all of those would be powers of 0. 0 to the 8th power would be 0 times 0 times 0. So, you know, you see what the answer will be? It's going to be 0. All powers of 0 will be just zeros. 1 is also pretty easy. 1 to the 6th power is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, but all you get out of that is just 1. And so also for other powers of 1. 10 to the 3rd power, there's a special thing here too. 10 cubed, we solved it already, it was 1000. Now 10 to the 4th power, 
You know, there's a shortcut for these. You just go one times one times one times one is one. And then you tag these zeros here, four zeros. In powers of 10, all you need to do is write one. And then however many zeros this number indicates. This expression here, we would read it this way. The quantity of nine centimeters squared. You shouldn't say that it is nine centimeters squared, but the quantity of nine centimeters squared. And that is because when it is inside parentheses and then squared, then this whole thing here gets squared. Let me show you what this means. It is simply nine centimeters times nine centimeters. So we will get 81. But what about those centimeters? Basically, it is like multiplying centimeter times centimeter. Centimeter multiplied by itself, two times, right? So that is actually centimeter squared, as if the unit centimeter got squared, but we call it the square centimeter. So this is 81 square centimeters. It is exactly the area of a square with nine centimeter sides. Okay, so if you've ever wondered why in area we use these square centimeters, the two here is an exponent and comes because we multiply centimeter times centimeter. The centimeter gets multiplied by itself two times. So we get the exponent two here and we call it square centimeters instead of centimeter squared. Let's now figure out area of a square with seven inch sides. I'll sketch it here. Seven inches and seven inches. I will write it like this. Seven inches in parentheses squared. That means the same as seven inches times seven inches. And I get 49. And then the inches get squared too. I get inches times inches, which is square inches. Like that. Some people write it as 49 SQIN. Both ways are correct. Volume of a cube with 30 centimeter sides. Okay, here's a cube. Maybe I'll sketch it again here too. 30, 30, and 30. I can write this as 30 centimeters, the quantity of 30 centimeters cubed, which is the same as 30 centimeters times 30 centimeters times 30 centimeters. And now we will get 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And then those three zeros get tagged and then we get cubic centimeters.